Hey everyone, Pat Spielman here, founder at Uptix, and in this video, I wanna share with you an exciting new feature that we're just launching within the Uptix platform that'll really help change the game in the sequential processing side of things. So, and that feature is A-B testing. And uh, A-B testing is a really, really neat, cool feature that you can leverage to use to test different message copy, different subject lines and emails, different sales cadences, and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so when you're in the Uptix platform, the way you get access to the A-B testing is when you're building sequences. So obviously there's several ways to, to build a sequence. I'm just gonna do it from the quick toolbar there. I'm gonna create new. And it's really simple to do an A-B test. So take your email variation, drag it into the builder, click A-B test here, and then we're gonna drop another email right there. It's that simple. From here, you've got some decisions you wanna make. And if you're launching a new campaign, I'm gonna suggest that you keep this slider bar at 50-50. What this is gonna do, if you slide it either right or left, it's gonna control how many sends are gonna happen for the A-B test versus the B test. So unless you know that your copy is performing really well for a certain you know, subject line or body of your email, or whatever variation you're using, I suggest if you're launching a new campaign to keep it at 50-50. Again, unless you know that a particular version is performing better, in which case then you know you wanna start small and just have a little bit of traffic going towards your B test and then over time make a decision on what you think is gonna work better. So once you have that set up, uh, the next step is really just managing your stats. So let's get into a couple stats. All right, so now that I'm in a sequence here, let's walk you through the stats. So just like before, you're gonna see the email stats at the top here, and you're gonna see the consolidated view. So you got your opens, you got your clicks, you got your replies, you got your unsubscribes, and you got your total sends. To look at the A-B tests, you just gotta click the row, it's gonna expand and show you the active uh, A test and B test, and I'll get to the archiving uh, in a second. But basically you're gonna see the split between your stats. And in this variation, again, I've got low volume here. I, I'm not really seeing any data that's pointing me towards you know, deciding if one variation works better than the other. You can see here the open rates are performing pretty much the same, click rates, reply rates are all performing pretty much the same. But I wanna show you a, another variation. I'm gonna show you a different sequence here where the statistics are just a little bit different. So in this, this is a different uh, cold sequence. I've got a little bit more volume here and you can see the consolidated stats here, you know, 50%, not bad. I do have some issues here. It looks like I'm probably gonna need to improve some of my body content of my email or my targeting. But if I open up the AB test, um, you can see my active test. You're gonna see some differences. First of all, I wanna point out um, that I have an archive version in here. So I was just playing around with the sequence to begin with and I had a B test in there and I archived it. So what happens is the data and the stats still get stored. So you always have access to that. And then the system's automatically gonna make the next variation that you put into there uh, called a C test. So you can see my A and C test actually. And you're seeing a little bit of difference of course in the performance. And the only difference I have between these templates are my subject line. So it looks like this subject line is performing a little bit better. Again, it's still pretty low volume. I wouldn't consider it statistically significant, and I'm not gonna give a stats course here, uh, but I'll let this run a little bit longer, and over time, uh, you know, I'll probably shift some of the, the volume over to that introduction subject line, or maybe I'll uh, go in and tweak this one, but uh, for now, I'm gonna leave things the same. It looks like I'm gonna have a little bit more work to do in the body of my email since I'm not getting clicks and replies and specifically replies, because my call to action really isn't to click a link or anything, it's to reply back to me. All right, so that's the A-B testing feature. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And of course, if you're not using Uptix yet, we'd love for you to, to sign up for a free trial and check out not just the A-B testing feature, but all the features that we have in our system to help you win customers faster. All right, so we'll see you in the next one.